with Big Maccabee, Pop, Ginger, and bloody hell, it is a warm one today. Oh, yeah, bugger. Oops. What we have here in this gorgeous little box, yet another mystery box from R&M Collectibles, or on YouTube, R&M Entertainment. Lovely little number. This was inspired and created in correlation somewhat with the recent release of Thor Love and Thunder. And from the title you'll notice this one was tamed, tamed named Love and Plunder. £12 a box for, not the character but the number, items Marvel related to be found inside. That's all the information I know. So without further ado, when the laggy band stops sticking, we shall slice and dice and head on in. This is an interesting shaped box. I haven't had one like this before. I can't, unless, well, unless it's, oh no. <laughs> I was about to say interesting shaped box, but I think it's actually uh, two boxes placed into one. Maybe that means there's a large item inside. I do not know. But this, this is it. I should have pre-planned this. Jesus Christ. Ooh. It might take me a moment, but we will get there in the end. Anybody else got their hands on one of these boxes? Let me know down below. Is it free? No, no. There's always going to be that one flap that I end up forgetting. There we go. We're getting somewhere. Ooh. Release the beast. Oh, that'll be why. Meow. So, as I said, four items inside. Yep, one, two, three, four. So, uh, where should we plonk it? We'll plonk it in the center and pull out bit by bit. First item. Ooh, chucker. It's a rock candy. Where's my blade? So whether or not they're all going to be Thor related in any way or just general Marvel, I don't know. The first item I can see is from Thor Ragnarok. And it's a cool one. As I said, it's a rock candy and we have ourselves, let's just straighten that up, Valkyrie. Gorgeous. I don't have this one. Uh, I have a couple of rock candies. I can't tell you what they are right now because I've had them that long. They're buried in the mountains of crap I own. But this is our newest one. Lovely little number. Good box condition. And she looks pretty awesome. I like the wide-eyed look of the uh, rock candy collectibles. That's lovely. Let's place that on top of the pile. Second item out. Smaller. Unshaka. Something Deadpool. I like Deadpool. Ooh, is it? Okay, so the second item out is some lenticular coasters. Always good to have coasters. You can never have too many. So let's have a little look, see which ones we have got. Uh, try and do this without slicing a coaster open. Or damaging it in any way. So let's see then. So they all look to be like panels and things from comic books. Possibly. Let's have a look. <laughs> That's pretty cool. This one's like a, a Deadpool peekaboo kind of thing. Uh, there we go. Let's see if you can see. It, it's kind of hard to figure out the angle. Ah, there we go. So he's hiding. You're all gonna die, peekaboo. <laughs> I like that one. This one goes from masked to unmasked. That's pretty cool. I like how that works. Third one goes, it's like a little mini version of Deadpool. From injured to uninjured. Or uninjured to injured, whichever way you want to look at it. That's pretty sick. Our final one is a basic Deadpool icon into uh, a more hardcore version. I like them, they're awesome. 
at some point I will make good use of those. Put them on the table, make it gorgeous. Jabble jabble. Next item out is bloody weighted. What we got? Okay, right, it's a mug. A lot of mystery boxes do have mugs. This is the first time I think I've had one from these particular mystery boxes. But let's have a look see. Right, what we got then? So there seem to be four, eight varieties. So you have some basic ones with Thor, Iron Man, Captain America, and Spider Man. And then you have these ones here with a Captain America shield look. Uh, one that says, what's it say? Make mine Marvel with Captain America, Thor, Iron Man, and Hulk on. Uh, the badge for shield and another Captain America inspired one. And we have gotten the Make Mine Marvel. Looks awesome. It looks like a campaign poster. I like that. That's cool. That is cute. Hopefully that stays where it's supposed to be. Final item is a Blacklight Funko Pop. And some extra hair. That must have been a freebie. So let's slice her open and see who we have. Okay, right, I recognise her. I like it. Let's just uh, unfold it. And we have ourselves the special edition Blacklight Rogue. I know that they did a fair few different characters in Blacklight. Uh, looking at the back, we have Deadpool, Rogue, Magneto and Gambit. Uh, Stra Doctor Strange, Hulk, Carnage. There were a fair few that made it into the Blacklight. Mix up. Lovely jabbly. So, those were all four of the items that we pulled in our box. 12 quid for all of that. That's posted as well. Cannot complain. That's gorgeous. But that is also everything I have for you on this one, folks. So until next time, stay safe. Have a good day. Let me know in the comments what you thought to it as well, as usual. And of course, live that pop fanatic life. I'll see you in a bit. Mm -hmm.